Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my mini cock loaves in the Kmart pie maker. So your ingredients is a quarter cup of uh, mayo, a quarter cup of cream, half a cup of cream cheese, half a cup of shredded ham, half a cup of tasty cheese or whatever cheese you like, um, two tablespoons French onion and the mini loaves here I'm going to be cutting a hole out of and we're going to put our filling in that. So let's get started. You might have a recipe you prefer for the filling and you can use that, you can use this one, but with the buns it's all the same. You just cut a hole out, put it in there in the pie maker. So that's all mixed in. So these are the buns I use. They're just the mini extra soft lunch roll, 12 pack. And I used to use the, um, the whole grain little one, but Willie's decided to discontinue that. So this is the next best thing and it works just as well. So you just grab one out of there. All you do, this is so simple, you just cut a little hole out of it. Don't know if you can see, my pie maker is already preheating while I'm doing this. So, my husband do really big holes, I don't like them that big. Because, um, it's not the healthiest filling, is it? So, then you just scoop your filling in there. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I've washed them. You can put less in there if you want more. It doesn't matter if it's a bit overfilling. Spilling over a bit. Um, so then you just put, I'll just show you one, but you put all four in. And don't worry if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't look like it's going to fit or you have to push it down a bit. Once you close the pie maker, it all squishes down and it just works. So, I'm going to leave that now for probably four or five minutes. I never really time it, I just watch it, check it. So, but we'll time it this time and um, we'll come back in four minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's been about five minutes because I do like for it to bubble in the center before I grab it out. And really all you need for it is to melt the cheese and for the bun to toast up a little bit. And there you have it, mini cob loaf in the kind of pie maker. I've made these in my sunbeam with larger buns before. I'll try and put up a picture of that. I'm still pretty new to all of this, but I'll give it a go. Um, yeah, so these make really good lunches for the kids, for school, also for the hubbies. And I've never tried freezing them, but I can't really see why not. So let's give that a cut and see what it looks like. I normally wait for it to cool a bit. Might be a bit runny in the middle still. Wow, look at that. Mm, delicious. Beautiful. That's going to be so yummy. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe my video and have a good day. Bye.